Good morning, everybody. I hope you're doing well. Taking Elliot out on a walk this morning. Cal's up ahead with the neighbor. He, um, his parents are packing their RV for the holiday. They asked if their son could go on a walk with us since we were going out anyways. I was like, yeah, sure. So they're up. They're up a little ways, keeping a little bit of a distance from Elliot just in case. It's also nice for Cal to just have a little bit of time with his friend before they're off for the summer for their summer holiday. Um, yeah, I'm out getting Elliot some fresh air. Luckily, it's not raining today, so we're able to get out and let him have some good fresh air without getting wet. I think he's doing better. I think yesterday was like 100 bad. I think today he's like at a 90. So it's better than it was. So we're going down, we're going down. It is getting better. It's a slow process, but the doctor did say that these days would be the hardest ones. Um, he's still he's still breathing quickly but he is coughing less and his fever seems to be getting easier to manage so hopefully we are hopefully we're going in the, well we're going in the right direction it's just a process he was able to get some good rest last night that was really the point like kind of treating the symptoms so that he can rest and let his body fight the virus effectively and efficiently we're getting there slowly but surely and um, I'm honestly just really glad for some nicer weather just to be able to do this. Oh my gosh, we just happened upon a kitty cat. Elliot, look. Do you see the kitty? Meow. Oh, you've got a tag. Hi, little buddy. Where do you live? Okay, it's chipped. Hi, little baby. Hi. Oh, it's sweet. It's so sweet. Oh. Look, Ellie, a little kitty friend. We've got a little kitty friend. Hi. Meow, 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 meow. Oh. Somebody obviously cares about you and has tabs on you. Thanks for letting us play with you. You ready to go bye bye? Can you say bye bye to the kitty? Always oh, moving his little fingers. Oh. That was totally unexpected and super fun. Hey, buddy, it's okay. It's okay. Mama's here. So we've got him lightly dressed, and I'm just. Um, since it's, it's relatively warm, the doctor wasn't super worried about him needing socks and stuff and said to keep his socks off when possible so that I can check and make sure he's getting oxygen, checking his little mouth, his lips, making sure they're not turning blue, making sure his hands and his feet stay pink. I don't even, I don't know what to say. This is gonna sound really weird. Because, well, especially considering the last few days that we've had, you know, having to go to the hospital and just dealing with the sickness, it's gonna sound very weird. <laughs> what I'm about to say is gonna sound very bizarre, but I'm so grateful. Very often when I'm overcome with emotion, the emotion, the emotive part of this is not, it's not sadness. It's not, it's not anything other than gratitude. Because I feel gratitude for my life and for my children and for my husband and my family so deeply. And whenever I start crying, 
it's because I see, like I can physically see the gratitude. I can physically see the feeling each time I look at my children or each time I look at Roman or, you know, it's just, it's like, it's, it's incredibly tangible to me. I can feel it. So in moments like this, when I see my son, I am filled with gratitude knowing that this is something that will pass and that this is just one more thing that will strengthen him that we have the doctors that we have that are in our corner <coughs> that are that are skilled and knowledgeable and compassionate and passionate about what they do and helping my son that it just it never it never escapes me just how how much i have to be grateful for hopefully in a week's time he'll be back to his usual self running around wrestling knocking stuff over getting into everything and it is hard you know motherhood is hard but it never ever escapes my mind that a healthy child is supposed to be that way you know a healthy child is supposed to make messes and drive you crazy and run around and jump and injure themselves and and it sure as heck beats this and i am overcome with gratitude that he will be able to overcome this and I'm so lucky that I get to be the one to, to make him better. It's a real honor. It's an honor that I just don't, I don't take lightly. But he's a fighter. He's gonna be okay. Yeah. Anyways, Roman and Cam and Linnea went to go pick up um, in the midst of all of this, we ran out of toilet paper. Isn't that like such a 2020 problem in 2021? Um, so they went to go get some toilet paper and yeah, it's okay. Come here. Okay, come here. He needed a change of position. Now he needs to sit up. But yeah, so we'll see what they want to watch. A family movie night. Okay, I'm gonna turn the camera off and just cuddle him. Good morning, everybody. Well, good afternoon. Linnea and I went out to run some errands today. Elliot's doing better. He's eating, his fever is going way down. So I felt comfortable enough to leave him at home with Roman. Um, and you know, Roman's also off work because it's a Saturday, so he has more time. He had a really good night's sleep last night and his fever is going down slowly. Um, he's not 100% by any means, but otherwise we probably would have done family errands today, but he needed to stay home and continue to rest and uh, Callum wanted to play with the neighbors and Roman's just home with Elliot, so I am out with Linnea running some errands and she wanted to come get a hot dog <laughs> for lunch. How, how is it? It's good. Not good? Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I'm having a drink as well. Mom, yeah? <laughs> we are allowed to eat in the restaurant because we are fully vaccinated. Well, I'm fully vaccinated and I've got, um, I've got on my phone my certificate showing that I'm fully vaccinated. So that is a privilege of being completely vaccinated is we're allowed to eat in the restaurant, which is nice because we're away. It's much, it's very full outside if you eat outside. So this is nice. We're just kind of having... <laughs> Linnea and I have been trying to play a staring contest and whoever blinks first loses, but she's winning. I don't know why I have to blink like three times more than she does. Okay, you ready? Okay, look at mommy, go. Oh. 
<laughs> Why is this so easy for you? Oh, I will go. No, yes, no good. Okay. You did that on purpose. You did that on purpose. Okay. Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> I don't know why I have to blink so much more than you do. That's not cool. We are still here. No, look here. Look, look, look how you got your mouth full. The bird is pushing down. Linnea. What? Okay, so we are having chicken fajitas tonight. Here's mine. And there's Elliot. He's eating. He's eating something. That's a huge improvement. He ate like two bites of applesauce yesterday and couldn't eat anything else. So this is a big, big step for him. 